In this video, I'm going to give you 19 commonly forgotten wedding registry items that are often not found on wedding registries simply because we just don't think of it. And, you know, we think of the important things like toasters and coffee makers and things like that, but we just some, overlook some of these smaller things. In the first section, we're going to talk about household items, and these are just general, um, like home decor and just general items that you would have around the house. So the first one is luggage. Um, obviously, this could be one of the very first gifts that you use if you want to use it to go on your honeymoon, so it's a definitely a great idea to have luggage on your registry. The next one is essential oils and diffusers, and this is kind of a new a newer trend. Um, a lot of people are kind of getting into the health thing and I don't have one myself but it's something that I've I've uh, seen at other people's houses and I thought well that would be kind of nice and you know it gives off a scent and it's also healthy so um, the essential oils can be kind of expensive so it would be great to have them gifted to you so this is I thought this was a great idea. Um, the next one is Christmas decorations and I got this because I actually have a unmarried friend who just moved out into her own apartment and this is the first Christmas and she didn't have any decorations so um, I thought even for like newlyweds and stuff it's not something we think about especially if you're getting married in the summertime and you just you're not thinking about Christmas already so um, to have these on hand is a great idea. The next set of items I have are some techie things and being a techie person myself these are things that I thought of that I would like to have in my future home. So the first one is a computer printer and this is great for you know printing out your own pictures or just for general things that you might need to use it for and you can also even register for the ink and the paper thing to go with it but you know we all have our devices and everything but we don't always think about the printer. The next one is an Amazon Prime subscription. So this, I'm not sure that you can actually put this on like your Amazon wedding registry, but you can, if you have like a wedding website or if you're gonna include a sheet of paper with your um, like bridal shower invitation or wedding invitation, you could have this on there as a gift idea of something you'd like to have because the benefits of Amazon Prime are just so good that it's such a good idea for someone to gift. The next one is a video doorbell. So currently where I live now, we have a ring doorbell and we absolutely love it. The security of it and then just being able to always look and see who's out front. And um, this may not work if you're going to an apartment or a condo or something like that. But if you're getting your own house, um, a ring doorbell is definitely a, a great thing to have and just something that you don't always see on a wedding registry. This next set of items is going to be kitchen items. Um, we always think of the toasters and the coffee pots, like I said, so these are just some little odds and ends that we don't always have. I love this one. I have an apple peeler quarter slicer now, and it's definitely something that I would want to have on the wedding registry if I didn't already have it. Um, works great for potatoes. It just saves so much time when you're trying to cook and prepare, and it's I just I love it. So everybody probably gets a set of knives for their wedding, but what about the sharpener? The knives are only good as long as they're sharp. So having the sharpener on hand is such a great tool to have and just, we don't think about what happens when the knives get dull and then you have to go buy a new set. So just having a sharpener is great. And this one, I'm not talking about the coffee pot. I'm talking about the actual coffee. If you're like me, you have to have coffee. <laughs> so, um, of course, me being a coffee addict, my first thought was, well, what if you wake up the next day on your after your wedding and you have no coffee in your house? So if you're registering for like a Keurig, put some K-cups on there. Um, if you're registering for just a normal coffee pot like this one, put your favorite coffee on there and somebody can do like a, a group gift of, you know, the coffee pot and the coffee. It would be a great idea. The next set of items is laundry and bathroom things. So again, like your kitchen, you always think of the important things like a trash can and the soap dispenser and all those types of things. So here are just some other odds and ends. 
Now this one's kind of a funny gift, but everybody needs a plunger, so don't laugh. Um, this, I just think it would be hilarious to see somebody open this up as a wedding shower gift or, you know, wedding gift or bridal shower. That would just, it would be funny, but everybody needs one, so. <laughs> Electric toothbrushes. This is kind of a unique gift you don't always see on there, but it can be a great idea if you're, if maybe you're, you're used to using one, but you can't take your current scent with you because your family's using it or you just would like to start using an electric toothbrush, it's a great idea to have on your registry. Again, a house cleaning subscription is probably not something you can put on a wedding registry, but it would be a great gift idea to include with your um, on your wedding website or with your invitations. Just something if you don't want to if you'd like to have a break from not having to clean your house or you're just not fond of cleaning, then this is a great idea. Okay, so normally wedding registries have all the stuff that the, the girl wants. All the kitchen stuff, all the bathroom stuff, all the cute little home decor things. But there always should be some stuff for the guys on there too. So here's a few things that I thought of for guys. Cordless drill. There's just bound to be pictures that need hung or just little things that need fixed or tightened or anything around the new place. Um, so a cordless drill is definitely one of the, probably one of the best gifts that you could get for a guy. <laughs> a backyard grill. So at the time that you're probably filling out your wedding registry, it's probably not grilling season. Or if you're getting out of grilling season, so you may not think about needing a grill for the future. So make sure to get the grill on the registry. Same with the lawnmower. It may not be lawn mowing season, so you might not be thinking about, you know, the outdoor tools that you might need. So having a lawnmower on your list is a great idea. It may not be for those who are, again, in an apartment or condo or somewhere where they don't have to do their own lawn care, but um, great idea if you're moving into your own place. Okay, and here are just some unique items that I thought of, just different, something that you don't always see on a registry, but that would be really helpful. The first one is gift cards, all kinds of gift cards, anything, Amazon, grocery stores, restaurants, your favorite clothing store, anything. Um, I believe with Amazon, you can put gift cards on your registry, but as far as the other ones, grocery stores, restaurants, all those, just put those like on your um, invitations if you're having an extra slip of paper in your card or put them on your wedding website as um, gift ideas that you could use. Safety equipment. I thought this was a great idea too. If you're moving into a new place, you're probably going to want to replace like the carbon monoxide detectors and the fire alarms and having a fire extinguisher on hand never hurts either. So um, just really unique, but really useful. And lastly, I have lawn art. I thought this was a really cute idea that you could get um, maybe register for something that could be personalized with your last name and maybe the year that you're getting married and just cute little decorations that you can have to kind of make your place your own. So that is all of the ideas I'm giving in this video, but you can visit inspiredweddingplanner.com forward slash forgotten to see 53 commonly forgotten wedding registry ideas. And I hope this video inspired you to think of other things that maybe you've overlooked or just hadn't thought about. And if you have any other ideas, please leave them in the comments of this video. I'd love to hear them and I will see you in the next video.